At the end of the day, all of these LLMs are numbers. All they understand is numbers. And that is why if you want to provide your own data to these LLMs, you need to first convert that data into numbers. These numbers are also called as embeddings or vectors. Normally what happens is that you store these vectors or embeddings after converting your data into some sort of database, which is called as a vector store. There are heaps of vector stores out there and some of them are open source, some of them are cloud hosted and the list goes on and on. Amazon or AWS has also jumped into this arena and they have now enabled another feature with their object store service S3 which is Amazon S3 vectors. In very very simple words what this Amazon S3 vector is that it enables you to store your numbers or embeddings into S3 bucket in some sort of index. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. In this video, we are going to see how to get started with Amazon S3 vectors, what they are, how to create them. And I will also show you a hands on demo as how to store your own embeddings into these S3 vector stores. Please also like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So what exactly is the S3 vector? It is a purpose built vector storage by Amazon or AWS that you can use to upload, store or query your vectors and you can save the cost a lot, especially if your requirements are very, very high. It's an object store. So what AWS has done, they have just created it something like that, that from the left, you have your own data you convert it into numerical representation through some embedding model and there are heaps of them out there. I will also show you one shortly. You can use local models, maybe with Olama or Lama.cpp or any other technology, or you could use AWS's own vector embedding models through Amazon Bedrock or SageMaker. Or you can even host it on your EC2 instance. The choices are <clears throat> quite a lot there. So once that's done, you can just simply store it into the vector store and it creates an index and you can start accessing it. So if you have already created the vector bucket, you have stored your vectors, then you can integrate it in your Amazon Bedrock service, Amazon Sage Maker service, and the list goes on and on. So I have reduced the size of the image so you can see that you can integrate it with a lot of services one very very important point here is that there is some latency involved with s3 so don't think that you can just use s3 bucket as your backend vector store if your requirement is of very low latency real time then you would have to move your vectors the most frequently accessed vectors to something like amazon open search service so that you could access it from there or some other external service of your choice so i believe at the moment this s3 vector is just for storage it is not for real-time access if that is your use case okay so that said and done let me now take you to my aws account and then from there i will show you how to create this s3 vector bucket so I am logged into my AWS account. If you don't have AWS account, if this is the first time you can sign up with your email address and you will have access to a free AWS account where you can spin up and use some of the services for free. And this is my test account. So um, you can also spin up some. I'm in Sydney region, but of course you can go to any region of your choice. If you, uh, once you log in, go to Amazon S3 service from the top and then from the left hand side you see that we have this vector bu buckets option once you will click on this you'll be presented with this screen and then you can simply just click on create a vector bucket here now here just give it any name of your choice like my you vector bucket or something like that and then it should be in the smaller case and then simply just click on create vector bucket on the bottom right and you can see that my bucket is created. Next up, you can simply click on this green create vector index on the top right. 
and now you can give name to your vector index maybe i'll just call it cute vector index something like that and then for similarity search you can go with either cosine or euclidean i normally go with cosine so let's go with it you can also specify some of the metadata just to you know um, filter it down the road but don't worry about it for now and then simply click on create vector index and now yes you would need to specify the dimension too so i'm just going to go with 10 24 this is the number of um, um values in a vector a large dimension will more storage the lower dimension will need less storage but let's go with 1024 and the vector index is also created so that is all we needed to do in this screen let me now show you the code through where you can access this bucket this index and how we can do the insertion of our own embeddings into this bucket this is my ubuntu system but you can use these commands on any operating system of your choice first up i'm going to install the latest boto3 and request library boto3 is aws's sdk in order to access their services so make sure you install or upgrade your latest version i already have set my aws con credentials for the account which is a access key or role whatever you prefer um, and you can just watch my videos as how to get that you can simply grab it from your account uh, that is the best easy option okay so that is done next up for the model instead of going with aws model i'm going to go with olama based local model and for that i'm just going to pick up one of the embeddings model embedding model which you can also search from here there are few available and if you don't know what olama is it is one of the easiest ways to run large language models locally i have done more than thousand videos on just olama so just search it you should be able to find heaps of videos around it i already have it running as i said earlier so if you do olama list you will see that i have this embedding model available which i am going to use for the purpose of this video okay so our um sdk is installed our model is running let me now show you the code as how to actually use that s3 vector bucket and this is the code which i am going to use so what this code is doing it is importing the libraries then it is setting the olama endpoint which is my local system it is accessing that nomic embed uh, this is my aws region the sydney region and then primarily what all it is doing it is generating the vectors or embeddings or numerical representation for these three movie descriptions using that anomic embed model it is going to store it in my s3 bucket by simply calling the boto3 client of s3 vectors like this this is my s3 bucket name this is my index and this is how i am storing these vectors as you can see and this is just for the sample purposes you can go through the loop or you can simply uh, put it in there not only that but i'm also uh, creating the embedding after creating the embedding this is where it is getting stored and then we are running a similarity search or um, semantic search so primarily it is an end-to-end -end rag pipeline which we are using where not only we are generating the embeddings but we are also storing them in the vector store and then we are testing it out so let me take you to my terminal and let's run this and there you go and look at the answer that um curie was list the movies about adventures in space the best match is star wars as you can see and the distance is 0.437 which is uh, correctly identifying the space adventure movie then the second match is jurassic park which is um, 0.47 also sci-fi but less related to space and then finding nemo was filtered out which ex which was excluded because its genre is family not sci-fi so which is quite cool so only two results so you can see that you can easily integrate this s3 vector with any olama based or any other model um, which can do embedding the only thing you need to make sure is that embedding dimension matches with the model because different models have different embedding size so 
that's it let me know what do you think about this new feature of s3 bucket would you be using it or not please like the video and subscribe to the channel as it helps a lot thank you for all the support